I was reading on a website this morning about the physicist John Wheeler, who died just over a year ago in April last year. Uh, it was specifically in relation to something he said, a quotation he had that I really liked. And the quotation was, it from bit, uh, which I'll try and come on to. But uh, I came across Wheeler years ago because he was involved in the Everett Wheeler Graham model of. Um, as a kind of proposed resolve to some weirdness in quantum uh, quantum physics. And the Everett Wheeler Graham model, I think, is the multiple worlds model, which I don't think it was really proposed as, a, uh, as a, a real alternative. I think it was intended to be a kind of provocation. But uh, we were certainly involved in that. I think he also came up with the term uh, black hole. I think he's responsible for that with it. Uh, poetic physics and probably other things as well but uh, but this thing it from bit that he has is saying and he was really good at the kind of pithy sayings uh, basically expressed his view that the universe is ultimately explainable through um, information theory digital information theory coming out of people like Claude Shannon or Newman that kind of uh, area of uh, mathematics, I suppose. Um, yeah, so, in, so it's, yeah, okay. Information theory. But information theory and the idea of the it and the bit and the idea of the bit itself kind of jumped out at me, really. Because uh, the idea of the bit, and, and this is clearly expressed in Wheeler's own writing, is that it's uh, a binary system. It's about zeros and ones, it's about yes and no answers to questions, it's about um, on-off switches. It's, uh, it's, it's basically saying that at, the, at some kind of fundamental level, at a level of kind of infinitesimally granular being, if you like, uh, the universe consists of a series of on-off switches or, uh, or binary decisions. Uh, and that's jumped out at me because of the interest that I have in, in the idea of the binary right now, two-ness, and why that number two is significant. Why, why is, at heart, does the universe consist of binary choices, the choice between one thing and another thing, as opposed to three or five or seven or nine or eleven or different things? Or, or no things, or one thing. I'm just wondering why, why two-ness in that. Uh, part of that, for me at least, links up to this idea of the binary operator. And here I'm making a really spurious link, completely spurious, really. This idea that comes out of uh, certain versions of uh, cognitive science, and the application of cognitive science to thought, which is that, uh, that part of our natural processing uh, of, of, of data and the natural processing of stimuli, the stuff that comes into our senses, is processed in certain routine ways. And one of those ways, according to Andrew Newberg at least, is, uh, is binary. We divide things into two, naturally and, um, and kind of preconceptually, or um, interconceptually within the, within the makings of concepts themselves. So as I've mentioned before, you know, we tend to divide things into near, far, past, future, up, down, black, white, male, female. Those kind of binaries come completely natural to us and, and, uh, and form the nature of us, if you like. Uh, so I'm wondering about that, uh, that observation, if indeed it's correct, in relation to this it from bit thing. Does it from bit make sense, or indeed does the idea of the bit, the... Um, units of binary information, does that make sense because we have binary operators, or do we have binary operators because there is something in inevitable within uh, the physical world which which does this binary thing? I'm not sure, I'm not a clue really. It's probably, it's probably a nonsense question. Uh, but certainly in terms of the it from bit thing and the information thing, the uh, the kind of natural binary which asserts itself in my thinking, and, and, and I've, I've no real idea what I'm talking about. I didn't do maths or physics at school, so I've got no idea, really. Uh, but the thing that the kind of natural binary that asserts itself 
for me is to do with like being and not being. Uh, something is there, and this is a kind of naive physics interpretation, something is there or it isn't. Uh, and at a, at a, a granular level, if there's such a, which is a way of talking about the physical universe, at a granular level, then presumably at that level, uh, the stuff of the universe is either there or it's not. And here I'm reminded of cellular automata, the Wolfram stuff, where uh, you can use a kind of grid pattern and, uh, and designate a set of rules which determine whether one of those spaces on a grid is either filled or not filled. It's a binary system. So the, uh, the dark square is either there or it isn't. And the thereness or not thereness of a particular square on this grid is determined by the rules and by the action of all the other cellular automata, the other black squares on the similar grid. Uh, I don't know how those things link up. They seem to be connected to me. Uh, again, the whole thing flows from... I don't, I have no idea whether the whole thing flows from some kind of limitation or construction of the way that our psyches are made, that we naturally form things into binary, so of course binary makes sense, or whether uh, whether causality flows the other way, and, uh, and we naturally understand binary, because binary and bits are the stuff of the universe, and we're one of those it's that's produced from those bits. What's this space?